Hey everyone and good evening. This is Scott McGregor at Scott Trades on Twitter with StockMarketMentor.com and your chart of the day. Want to take a look at the iShares Bitcoin Trust? This is IBIT. Now in the past couple of weeks, we've had both Stanley Druckenmiller and Paul Tudor Jones come out to say that Bitcoin is part of their investment thesis. In fact, Paul Tudor Jones was on CNBC today. But does all roads lead to inflation, therefore gold is a good investment? Is Bitcoin a good investment to you? I, I, I'm long gold, I'm long Bitcoin. I think commodities are so ridiculously under owned. So I'm long commodities. I think most young people find their inflation hedges via the NASDAQ. That's also been great. It's probably some combination. I probably have some basket of gold, Bitcoin, commodities, and NASDAQ, something like that. So what do we have here exactly? We have some of the most legendary investors saying that they have Bitcoin as part of their portfolio. And so my question to you is, why don't you? I'll give you my technical analysis here on iBit and tell you how to get into this if this is something that you're interested in. Of course, we have a crypto service at Stock Market Mentor called Crypto Market Mentor. And over there, we cover crypto stocks, crypto tokens, and do deep dive fundamental analysis. Definitely check that out if you're interested. But here on iBit, I see a stock ticker that is in an uptrend and above all the major moving averages. We have a bit of a cup here. And yes, it is a sloppy cup, but it's still a rounding bottom above these moving averages. And I would definitely try to get involved in BTC in and around the eight day exponential period moving average or somewhere down near the 21 day. We can see that these levels have been acting as support the last couple of weeks. And even if it dips down to the 21 day and gives us a gap fill from this gap from the other day, I think that's still viable as long as it can bounce green. Now, if you're getting some started small in and around these key moving averages, my next step would be to look for a break above 39.40 for a potential to add to this position if it does break above that level coming on higher than average volume. Now you'll see a handful of gaps on this chart and that's because Bitcoin trades 24 hours a day and iBit doesn't. So you do have to, in my opinion, have a bit of a looser stop and a smaller position if you don't have a cushion to make up for some of these gaps that may happen because of overnight trading. But I definitely would watch iBit in and around the eight day exponential and then look for an ad opportunity with a break above 39.40 coming on volume. So that's just one of many things we'll be looking at tonight over at stockmarketmentor.com. If you want to see my full list, I'd love to show it to you. Take a trial, click that link, and hopefully I'll see you on the other side.